Welcome to this uh, shortwave radio video, and we are going to uh, tune the bands once again with the Texan H501. Don't forget, doing the same thing, but your favorite radio is coming up, so that means you might learn a thing or two. And uh, I hope if you have the radio that you actually do the same maneuvers that I do. It's going to give you more experience on that radio, and uh, sometimes if something you're not really sure about uh, how to use and how to um, enjoy certain functionalities. Well, maybe that is going to be the spark that's going to help you understand what's happening. Here is the tuning of the shortwave bands on the Texan H501X. What is there to listen to from 12,000 to 13,000 kilohertz shortwave? So this is a band which is mostly utility stations with an exception to the rule is the bottom part is also the end of the 25 meter band shortwave international broadcast band. So we're going to start tuning in AM mode because the first part of the band is of course international broadcasts and around 12, 170, 180 ish. I'm going to say change for upper side band as the rest is going to be utilities. If a band seems to be quiet at a certain time, make sure that you tune again at different times and different hours. And also, um, maybe get away from the noise. As you notice here, my noise level is extremely high um, around here. So it washes out a lot of weaker signals that could be in the frequencies that I'm tuning. Uh, so, hope that you enjoy our quick look at 12,000 to 13,000 kilohertz. O015 of course is a frequency of international broadcast stations from time to time. There is at this time a um, the voice of Korea that might be there from North Korea. This wouldn't be impossible. But there is a station definitely right now on 12015. Um, you hear that teletype, which is kind of a Stanag, RTTY Stanag style. This is U.S. Navy that uh, is broadcasting 24 hours a day. So that teletype comes from the U.S. Navy in the United States. Radio. Radio Exterior España or Radio Nacional España with some sports. 0030 in Spanish. And by the way, we are 2155 UTC. Zero zero five zero, very weak. Usually WEWN. And the um, 20, 19, 20, and 20 hours UTC time. 12095 is often a good frequency for the BBC. Twelve one twenty, also some uh, radio teletype. If we put ourselves in the sideband here, you'll hear the uh, twelve one twenty. Uh, this one is also uh, U.S. Navy. Uh, Possibly from Puerto Rico. So this is possibly from Puerto Rico, the U.S. Navy. Uh, RTTY, Stanag style um, signal. Twelve one sixty, which is empty right now, often has WWCR throughout the day. And now we'll stay in sideband and try to tune in what's on... 12 megahertz.
one of those ranges that uh, don't be fooled it might be quiet at times but uh, if you tune in regularly you'll hear some signals there for sure So twelve five seven seven point five ish some uh some Navtex. This is possibly L two C in Buenos Aires, Argentina. There's a good chance that this is Argentina. Not very strong. If you decode Navtex in Spanish, then you know that it's Argentina here. We're going to come back to it and try to see if we can decode anything. It's very weak, but who knows. A lot of the Russian number stations are also in their 12 megahertz range. So this is some Stanag. This is a Stanag from a possible French Navy uh, from Senegal. Eight five seven. This one is more like eight sixty though. There's a lot of Russian um, communications on 12 megahertz. If you're in Europe, there's a possibility you hear a lot of Russian language there, you know, especially at this time with all this happening. Here around uh, 12916 uh, a couple of years back uh, and it's still active I heard the uh, HLF Seoul Korea Morse code uh, marine weather channel marker these are very difficult to get very low power So here we go. So it looks very quiet, but don't be fooled. I have a high noise level. Uh, lots of utilities still in the range there. Let's go back down to uh, the possible L2C here and see if we can decode just briefly something. 12788, by the way, lots of uh, communications there of uh, Coast Guard weather. There's actually one station right now. This is the U.S. NMG Coast Guard weather from uh, New Orleans, Louisiana. Not very strong. And if we go to the Stanag frequency.
Let's go back here. Let's see if uh, I can use my tablet to pick out anything. Seems to be quite idle right now with that. Uh, So I'm using an app that is called uh, Droid Navtex, as you see here. It's uh, with the microphone. If it's not too noisy, we can try to decode something. So let's see what we can uh, if we can actually have a matching signal by the uh, waterfall here at the bottom. trying to synchronize just too noisy to really get a decoder of anything If I'd have a uh, little less noise, I'd probably be able to decode it because here it automatically matches the signal here. Unfortunately, no decode, but uh, you know, that's the part of it trying to get a better signal, lower noise. If I'd be in a park where the signal's stronger um, with you know less noise, I probably would have a decode. But this is, I'm um, pretty sure, this is L2C in Argentina uh, with some uh, marine weather broadcasts for the uh, South Atlantic and um, some uh, Antarctic region. Uh, weather also. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thank you for watching.